Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sin and I do videos all about budgeting using the cash envelope method. I am going to be going over my um, expenses for the week and the, not expenses, but what I spent for the week and then also removing that money um, so I can pay off my credit card um, because I do have a balance on it. So instead of me showing you guys like all of the transactions so i keep track of all of my transactions using this um the budget mom book and it's a mess in here like i'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys but it is a mess so see i have everything listed here my freedom credit card and all the check mark means that that's already been paid um, and yeah, so instead of me like going through every transaction, I've already done all the work. So I have a notebook here where I wrote down everything that I need to um, take out because I've already tallied up all of the spending. Um, so I'm going to keep this to the side over here. And I have been, I'm so proud of myself, you guys, of my spending. I am on a whole different level. I used to just swipe, 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 and like not even care about the prices, not even, um, you know, if I needed it, I just got it. Like I didn't, it wasn't one of those things where like, let me sit and wait. Um, now, like I'm really thinking about my purchases. So um, let's just get right to it. I, this is my little um, A, what is this? A7 binder, Daisy binder. And it has all of my spending categories in here. Do I have change? Um, I might have to skip groceries. Yeah, let, let's skip groceries for now. Um, I might not even have change. So anyways, um, dining out. Dining out, I only spent $4. In reality, I only spent $3.50 because I went to McDonald's and I have the McDonald's app. So I got a 99 cents coffee and an apple pie. No, 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 it was a strawberry and cream pie. I love the strawberry and cream and the guava cream pies. Oh, so good. Um, but anyway, so that was 350, but I'm gonna take out four, one, two. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's just uh, put this here. Or should I just do three dollars? Because I don't know if I have dollar bills. I don't think I do. I don't. I don't. Okay. All right. So because I know that I don't have enough dollar bills, I'm just going to change this instead of four dollars. I'm going to change it to three because it was three fifty, and you know, fifty cents is not going to make me overdraft or anything like that. So let's take out three. So three dollars for eating out <laughs> just so happy about that you guys so so happy even with my kids like i'm just like no we have food at home let me make you a sandwich like i have everything here sandwich corn dogs hot dogs um a little pizza bites bagel bites like i have all of the stuff and i'm like if i'm spending money in groceries like we're gonna eat the groceries um so they've been they've been really good but today i am going to treat them out to boba so i promised them that after i pick them up from school that we're gonna go on a little boba date so they're looking forward to that um so eating out has 20 40 60 70 80 90 95 105 105 dollars that is amazing this definitely will last me throughout the rest of the month um and I, I'm like really looking forward to having some rollover money because I never have rollover money. All right, so let's go back to groceries because groceries, I did spend $128. Um, again, I've been really trying to look at the ads. I finally got the Safeway app because they have digital coupons. And then I shopped through Rayleigh's, which also has like digital coupons and they're they're all of their like weekly deals you have to clip a coupon um so i've been doing that and then a lot of my snacks like my kids snacks i get them from grocery outlet because i can find like chips ahoy cookies like a whole big box for like six seven dollars or yogurts it's cheap there so grocery outlet is my go-to for snacks um and then everything else is like uh rayleigh safeway lucky's um food max so i i don't have just the one 
store where I, I go grocery shopping. I go to different stores. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, 120, let's do 130, and I should get back $2. Okay, so let's see, 130. Okay, and in groceries, I have remaining 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 155, 160, 162, dollars And I'm hoping we can make this stretch. Um, again, I've been meal like planning. So this book here, I've been really trying to utilize all of the sheets here but it does have a meal um planner here so like a monthly meal plan and i've been doing it more weekly at first i started off with like yeah i'm gonna write everything but the weeks change you know and then i ch i check to see what what we currently have in the freezer or in the pantry and i just kind of go with that um but the upcoming week I'm going, I bought like this big thing of chicken breast, like seven pounds of chicken breast for $12. So that's gonna make a lot of meals. I'm going to make like tostadas de tinga, taquitos de pollo, and then I'm probably gonna make a chipotle chicken with rice because that was a favorite. I made it on Thursday, the 11th, and it was a hit. Like my family cannot stop talking about it and they want me to make it again. So I think that's what I'm gonna do here. So three meals. Um, three dinner meals with chicken for the first uh, week and then I got to figure out the rest but that's how I do it to stay in within my grocery budget and also um, not eat out all right um, what's next transportation so gas and parking um, was a total of $80 so 20 40 60 80 I have been driving more because of shipped i've been doing a few orders for shipped here and there whenever i get some and i have the time i'll i i'll do one um so yeah it's been it's been good but i have been using a little bit more gas so gas now has 20 30 40 45 50 50 dollars i think this should be good i hope so i don't know um household i did spend quite a bit of money on household but i did add more money into this one because i redeemed ibotta cash back and i pulled it out of my bank account and i put it in here um, because i used my credit card to pay for the household items so i spent a total of 84 but let's do 85 because i don't have oh wait maybe i do let's see 20 40 60 70 75 80 85 okay let's do 85 because i do have i mean 84 because i do have a dollar here so there you go I didn't confuse you guys because I confused myself. <laughs> All right, so household now has $6, and I am pretty set with a lot of the household items. I do need body wash, um, and I think that's it. But we have paper towels, we have all the paper products, all the laundry stuff. We even got, I even got baby wipes and um, pull ups. So I think we're definitely good on that for the rest of the month. Um, spending $12. Again, I don't have change. I don't have change. So 5, 10, 15. Let's do... I'm going to do um, 15 instead of 12. So I'm going to round it up to 15. This is what happens when you don't have change. So let me get a five. It's okay. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 remaining in spending. Um, I only did a $10 Starbucks reload. And what else did I buy? Um, oh, I bought a $1.99 Kindle book on Amazon. So that's why it's $12. But... Um, the extra three can go to the credit card. It's fine. Um, did I spend anything on beauty? No, nothing in beauty. Um, I've been doing my nails, all of my beauty stuff. Don't really look at them close up because I was trying to like 
do some nail art and my kids would not let me so i just did all the gems but i think they're kind of cute i think they came out good they should last me two weeks um they're really sturdy i just i really love love this um and i think for beauty i would probably be spending it in my kids haircut or um accessories like more nail polishes or nail art things so there's that um pets it, i didn't spend anything in pets because my dog is good with dog food and then kids i did spend 20 which i do have they're separate i think that this is theirs yeah so 20 because i did buy pull-ups and wipes um and then shopping was 51 dollars 20 40 50 so 50 bucks um because i bought something on etsy i bought some savings challenges and i told myself i was not going to buy any savings challenges that i was going to stick to my 52 week challenge and my 1000 emergency fund challenge but they're just so cute and i said you know what like i i think that's going to help me um motivate me to save money anyways and then after i finish those challenges i can allocate that money and put it you know towards either my emergency fund or my bigger um savings challenge which is the 52 week challenge so yeah i i just bit the bullet is it is that how you say it <laughs> i just did it and i bought myself that and then what else did i buy oh and then i went to goodwill and i bought myself some shorts and a blouse um i actually went to goodwill to do a, a donation drop off but once i was in there i was like let me just look around and i found these um j crew chino shorts and a a really nice um long sleeve blouse white blouse that i really want because that way I can wear like a, a bathing suit underneath since I am going on a beach vacation. I wanted something, I didn't want to spend like tons of money. So I think it was like $16, $17 that I spent there. And yeah, for those two items, I think it was a really great deal because the J. Crew shorts are in amazing condition. And those retail for like 50 bucks. And then the white um, long sleeve blouse, it's really good material. Um, and then I just wanted something to like wear, um, uh, like over my like bathing suit so there's that um but anyways this is all of the money that will be going back to the bank you know what i didn't bring a calculator hold on okay so i am back with my calculator but before let me have a sip of coffee i feel like i've been talking a lot mm, this is so good I bought the um, white chocolate mocha creamer, coffee creamer. Oh, it tastes delicious. Okay, so let's see. Let me just tally up what I, did I take out? I did, I took out 128 in groceries, $3 in dining out, 80 in gas, 80, was it 84 in household? Yeah, 20 in kids, 15 in spend, and then 50 in clothes. So a total of 380. 380 okay so let's count this money so 51 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 80 300 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 380 i don't know why $380, you guys. That is what I spent for the week. And I'm just so happy. I'm really happy because my spending has gone down so much. It has gone down so much. Usually, like, I'm spending $500 plus a week. So to see this, that this is all I've spent, uh, makes me happy. It makes me happy. Um, all right, you guys. This is it for the video. Thank you so much for your support and being here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.